Hi. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna slouch. Let's face it. Hi. I'm back again. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but um, let me explain. Um, the first week was because I had just a ton of schoolwork to do, and admittedly, it was the consequence of about a term's worth of procrastination. But and uh, last weekend, I was at the London Hyde Park YouTube 2012 festive gathering, and that was awesome. I met Jack and Dean. I talked to Jack and Dean. Um, they didn't remember me, obviously. But you just wait. In uh, in a year's time, they'll know me. No, they won't. Also, I came this close to Bing, and uh, I still didn't muster the balls to talk to him. Uh, I've, I hate my life. But most importantly, I met Jordan and her friends, and uh, that actually brings me on to my next point. I didn't film anything that day because I'm an idiot. However, Jordan filmed most of the day and made a video out of it, and it's much higher quality. And also, I'm in there a couple of times, so you can uh, you can go over there and watch that um, to see me, because. Uh, if that's all you're here for, that uh, makes a lot of sense, actually. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, actually, I will put a link to it right here because technology. That's why. Here it is. Click it. You can go watch a video, see all about all that day and stuff. Yay! It's gone now. You missed your chance. Always a bit late to the party, aren't you? So, the climax of this is that I feel really bad for not having put up a video in about two weeks. So, to make up for being a massive lazy, I'm gonna put two videos out next week. Holy shit! Yeah, on the um, on the train down to London last weekend, I wrote a script for a sketch, and I, it's, I think it's hilarious, I love it, it's my baby now. So, that's gonna happen. So yeah, I'll get some friends around and uh, shoot that baby. That's a bit morbid. Now, onto what I actually want to talk about today. You could call it the real vlog, but I haven't actually got any tea today. I've got coffee. So, uh, yeah. I fooled you all and you didn't even know it. Ah! So, it's occurred to me that I haven't actually talked a lot about anime in these videos, and now I plan to change that. So, whoa! Just to bring things back to Otakuville in uh, Morrigan Sound Corporations, I'm going to talk about my top 10 anime and my top 6 manga. Don't ask about why it's 6. Now I know what you're thinking, ooh, original, but uh, people have asked me to do this and I want to do it, so uh, it's going to happen, bitches. I did not feel comfortable saying that. Okay, um, let's just jump straight into it. Right, at number 10... Um, I, I kind of breaking the rules for this because it's a movie and not actually an anime series, but it's number 10. I was struggling for things to put on the list quite low down because there are a lot I've watched a lot of series. The, the series that I watch, I don't know whether I actually really like them or whether I really hate them, so it, you never get things in the middle. So I'm going to put at number 10 in the list Ponyo from the Studio Ghibli movies. As much as I love every single Ghibli movie, it's Ponyo is just my favourite. Because it's so... I, uh, I love it. Coming in at number 9 is uh, Naruto. Everyone knows what Naruto is. Now the thing about Naruto is... I uh, I don't actually watch a lot of it. It's hard to start watching it because there's bloody 300 episodes or something. And I don't know when to just jump in. But I've seen a few episodes and it's just... <laughs> there's no arguing, it's just good. <laughs> Now, at, um, at number eight, uh, something I have a little more to talk about, Bakuman. Um, I actually, I read the uh, manga series before, I actually read one of the books, and I thought this is great, and I watched the anime, and it's it's really, I don't know, it's great, and like every other anime that I've seen that's kind of like that style, it's good, but the best thing about it is that I kind of really want to grow up to be a mangaka myself, so it's really awesome to see, like, how things actually happen, I don't know, also it's... It's an anime, so everything's like, whoa. What the hell was that? Okay, number seven is uh, Space Brothers. Um, I don't know whether everyone has heard of this, but I personally really love it. Um, you should go look it up. It's just, it's not necessarily a terribly serious one, but it's just very mature. Well, it's kind of mature, and um, it's just, it's really interesting. It's funny, it's... 
it's just clever. It's it's all about space and and the characters in it are great. The writing's great. It's just good. So go watch it. It's all about space and astronauts. Um, number six is Blue Exorcist. Everyone knows that this is my favorite manga. Well, if you've watched the first video, you know that that's my favorite manga. I have it over there, and um, it is great. But the ma the anime is also brilliant. Um, of course it would be, because it's an adaptation of the manga anyway. Yeah, it's good. All the voice actors fit the characters perfectly. They were j exactly how I read them in my head. Um, and it's weird how that happens. But, um, yeah, it's just it's just a good ad adaptation. It's great. It's brilliant. I love it. Next one. Number five is... This is a lot more... Um, I wouldn't say abstract. It's a lot more less known, I think. I think. You, you can tell me if you know it. But um, it's called Dead Man Wonderland. And it's a lot more serious than a bunch of other ones. It's a lot more action-filled, a lot more intelligent, and to be honest, that is my favourite kind of anime, the one that has a really good storyline and is very intriguing and interesting and stuff. So, yeah, that's good. It's got a lot of gore in it as well, and I'm a boy, and I like blood. Okay, um, number four is Mirai Nikki, or Future Diary if you're English or you can't be bothered to Google Translate that. And it's, um, I don't, I don't really know what to say about this, it's just, again, it's really intelligent and um, clever, and they're not very different adjectives, are they? But yeah, it's just, it's so cool, I just love everything about it, and um, it's, it's kind of weird in places, but that's just the beauty of it, I mean, it's so strange, at like points it's been really close to tear-jerking for me, and that is difficult. Okay, number three. I am going really fast through this, I think I'm high. Number three is Toradora. Um, it's a, it's kind of a romance anime. The, I've got the, um, the manga as well. But um, I just started watching one episode because I thought it was, it was going to be a bit rubbishy, because, you know, I'm not into kind of cutesy-wootsy stuff. And then I just I just couldn't stop. It was just brilliant. I loved everything about it. It was so witty and um, quirky and and uh, it also there are a lot of romance things and for some reason that's really gripping. All of the hormones. That's why. Number two, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but screw you, it's Kaon. Um I've heard mixed opinions on this. Not because they think it's bad, because they think it's like the, it's like the animation or the, the the quality is bad, but they think it's just like a girl's thing, like a little baby girl thing, and it makes sense. I understand, but I don't know. I just enjoy it because it's it's all about band stuff, and and I, I've been in bands, and also it's adorable, and I love that, and I watched all of the episodes and the movie because it's good. Next one, and of course, at num the number one top spot in the top list of the top ten animes is it's Haruhi. You there's you would you know that it's Haruhi. Yeah, the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Um, I could talk about this for an entire episode. In fact, at one point I might I might do that, but it's so intelligent and gripping and and the storyline is complex and it's but at the same time it's funny and and sort of cute and and then it's back to interesting and then it's awesome and cool and then I don't know I can't talk about it in less than a million words yeah also um, I wanted to put this on the list but I thought it would be stupid to put two things kind of that are kind of the same on the same list but um yeah, the melancholy of Haruhi Chan season here. It's like a spin off series where everything's kind of like weird and chibi, but it's so funny. If you've seen the series and like you get all the references, it's just hilarious. Go watch that. That's good. It's good. Okay, I'm gonna do manga now, and I've only done six because I th I could only really think of six. Like I said earlier, it's my opinions on that manga is the same as anime. It's it's whether I really, really like it, or whether I just hate it completely. There's not really a lot of in-between. So, uh, number six is um, the Zelda Mangarized series, series. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. They're just, they're great, because I'm a 
huge, I can't stress how much, huge fan of the Zelda series. And, and uh, quite an achievement of mine is that I have played to completion every single Zelda game, par the Twilight one, because I hate that. I hate that. Number five is very obscure manga. I'm I'm fairly sure a lot of people wouldn't have heard of this. It's called Marduk Scramble. I was actually going to put this on the anime list, but to be honest, it's the it they turn the series into a fully fledged movie, and it's so adult. It's like it's an 18, but it should be like a, a 30 or something. I don't know, but it's it's got like gore every other second, and this is. Prostitutions. It's gross, but it's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, the, the manga isn't exactly that um, that gory or sexual or anything. It's just really interesting and clever. Again, I just like it when anime and mangas are interesting. Number four is Bakuman. It's the same as the, f the anime list. I've got about four that are on both lists because I preferred the manga. Really, I read, I watched the anime, and it was. Um, the only thing I didn't like was that the art style was a little bit not my style, but I mean it was fine, I watched the whole thing because it was cool, but the, the manga is a bit more kind of, I don't know how to explain myself, it's just better for me in my opinion, so that's why it's higher in the list. Anyway, number f number f number four, Bakuman. Number three, let's go. Number three is Toradora, I um, I, it's, it's same as last time it's just a romance novel and I like it and it's good and it's very funny and I like it and it's good ah number two the this is gonna be interesting number two for me is melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya it's at number two Ooh, what's gonna be at number one it's fairly obvious but yeah I, I, I do actually like the the manga a lot that's why it's at number two but it's for some reason I mean the uh, the story makes up for it completely, but the art style is a little lacking. I don't know. It's it just seems a bit unprofessional, and I don't know. Just just read one of them at least. That's 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 the only reason why it's not my favorite. Cause I don't know. But the story is so impeccable that I I have to put it there. Okay, number one is it's Blue Exorcist. You know why I like this. Blue Exorcist is just, um, I can't, I can never put to words how much I like it, it's just, I don't know, it's just really cool. That's also the only reason why, it's so cool, and it's clever, and, and it's cool, and it's really badass. Yeah. Okay, well that's uh, that's the um, the top ten animes and mangas for Morrigan San. There you go. I'll probably um, I'll probably watch this video back and remember like three other ones I didn't put on the list. So please don't be too mean in the comments. I'm sorry. But there were a a couple of animes that I didn't that didn't get onto the list because purely because I'm actually just watching them now and I thought it was kind of unfair to judge them yet. And those two animes are. Steins Gate and um, Sword Art Online. I'm watching them right now and they're awesome. So please don't spoil anything for me in the comments. Please don't spoil anything. <laughs> now, uh, another thing before I leave. I don't know how this happened, but people now want me to do shout outs for them. So I'm just gonna do that for them. Oh, this is weird. Firstly, Josh. Josh Shave. God, you have a weird name. I barely know you, but there you go. Hi Josh. Secondly, Louie and Harry. They're the um they're the people that teach me Japanese at school. They apparently watch my videos now, that's so strange. <laughs> and finally, Oscar and Ben. They're my friends and they watch my videos too. That's fine by me, it's just it feels weird that I'm treating myself like a superstar now. Oakley Dogley! I think it's about time for me to uh bounce. And I will see you next time, next week. I'll uh, I'll be uploading uh, the sketchy wetch and also uh, another normal vlog thingy. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Sayonara.
Last weekend, I was at the London YouTube Hyde Park f Fuck. Last weekend, I was at the London YouTube 20... The 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 Last weekend, I was at the London YouTube Hyde Park f Fuck. Um, yeah, that's... Oh, fuck. But most importantly, I met G... What happened there? Uh, fun fact, um, today's script is four pages long. Fuck my life.